Hello and welcome to the 71st video in this series of programming a chess engine in C. So in this video, it's a bit of a landmark video, Vice is going to play his first game. And I've downloaded his opponent from this site here called rwbc-chess.ee. It's run by a guy called Gunder Simon, who's uh, been a, for a long, long time a computer chess enthusiast. And he maintains, thank goodness, an archive of some of the hard-to-get classic old engines. And one of those is Nero, and it's been around for a long, long time, and is one of the weaker engines. It's weaker than TSCP, so Tom's Simple Chess Program. TSCP is rated usually on ratings lists around 1800, and Nero is rated around sort of 1600, and I thought would be a better opponent for Vice in this game rather than uh, letting him suffer against Tom Simple Chess Program or TSCP, and why won't this minimise? Never mind. So, to bring up the to arena then, so the good thing about arena is it has, whilst I prefer playing often engine games with windboard, one advantage arena does have, particularly when you have got a new engine, it has something called a log window, which has live logging, which Windows doesn't have. So we can watch the commands and things being sent to the engines as we go. So what we'll do is we'll set a new tournament going. I've already set things up earlier with one round and Vice against Nero playing a five minute blitz game. And this is, I'll clear everything up. And this is the first time I had a couple of full starts earlier because I hadn't set things up correctly. But the first time I'm actually going to see it play this game. So I'm as interested as you are to see how badly it plays with just P-square tables. So I hit start and off we go. The first thing is you can see the log here. It's making the book moves at the moment. I set them to make eight moves each in the book. So we get a reasonable opening position. And now you can see the output from Nero at the moment. And now you can see Vice. Our board is printed there and he's thinking away and everything looks reasonably okay. So I'll minimize that. So into the output that we see, Nero is thinking at the moment. We have the depth here. And here's the important part, that's the score. So plus 0.49 means Nero thinks he's 0.49 of a pawn in advantage. And Vice, as you can see, having searched to depth 7 here, so actually went deeper than Nero, has, says he's a quarter of a pawn in disadvantage. And Vice is actually searching with around a million positions a second, which one reason is he has virtually no evaluation taking up any computation. But that's not bad, bearing in mind that... Vice has absolutely no optimizations in the compile. We could expect with optimization to get double the speed out, really, uh, when we compile the program. So let's have a look then what's going on in this game. I hope this video won't be too boring for you, but I always find it relatively fascinating. Vice is playing as black here, and materials level as far as I can see at the moment. And I'm not a chess master by any means. I used to play for my university, so I can play a little bit of chess. But um, I'm not a master, so I'm not going to criticise what's going on too much. But Nero seems to think he's in advantage here. And indeed, Vice's position actually isn't particularly good. It's got quite a few weaknesses. Obviously, he's got a big weakness on here and a weakness here. And in fact, he's just by this exchange here given Nero the two bishops. But of course, Vice has nothing in his evaluation to say that having two bishops versus a knight and a bishop and a knight is usually an advantage. And Nero, in fact, is now saying he's going to be winning more than a pawn, although it's dropped slightly. But now he's fairly consistently saying the position's getting very good. And part of that was probably this check here. So I imagine G6 is forced here by Vice. So we're seeing a few things from Vice here. We're seeing... The rook's one rook going towards the middle, but he's not castled. He's not developed this piece, and he's pushed nearly all of his pawns as well from away in front of his king. Ideally, you'd want the pawns here and then to castle behind the pawns to keep the king nice and safe. And now Nero's queen is coming back out to here, and this weak spot on e6, which is really weak here, is being threatened. And in fact, I'm seeing, unfortunately, the king is being brought forward to here. Now in this position, if Vice can find some way of exchanging the queens off, he'll actually stay okay and maybe be able to deal with the weaknesses. But at the moment, it's not looking very good at all. Although that exchange by Nero has just helped because he's now taken off his bishop pair and relieved the pressure site slightly because this point is going to come under some pressure from 
Well, I thought from Nero, but he's actually just decided to exchange that off and not try to win it. So actually, Vice has escaped for the moment, um, being quite lucky that Nero isn't very strong early either and has messed up quite a strong position. The other thing to notice about positions like this as well, Vice only has P-square evaluation, so the rook has gone here because we know what the P-squares say about that, and also maybe a rook to the 7th rank, which it also evaluates high. But what you notice when you start programming an engine is, if you don't have a good balanced evaluation, it'll often reach positions where it has no idea really what to do or how to improve its position. So once Vice here has put its pieces all on squares that are best for its P-square tables, then it'll not know then what to do. But interestingly here, Vice has suddenly announced it thinks it's winning by two pawns, which means he thinks he's winning material somehow. I don't see it yet. I do now though. He's... is he tra... no, he's not. Oh. Yes, he's about to lose a piece on d2. This is very good. Vice has gone from a very bad position to making Alakine's gun, it's called, I think, with the three major pieces all on one file, and now also invaded with the queen. And in fact, if Nero exchanges his queen off, he'll leave the rook on the seventh here, and the position will look very good. But I don't think even Nero is going to do this, is he? No. He's put his own queen on the seventh. So now things are actually very interesting. Of course, he could take this, but then there'll be exchange on b2. But the position is now looking very, very good for Vice because he's a piece up for a pawn. This reminds me of something else, actually, in computer chess that would be frustrating. It's something called passed pawns. And you'll see here on this side, Nero can actually create a passed pawn if he pushes both of these. And a passed pawn is a pawn which has no opposing pawn that can take it if, as it moves at the board. And these can be very, very tricky to deal with in computer chess because they can cause a position where a computer is two or three pieces up to, to be lost because the pawn gets through and promotes because it sees too late that it can promote. But if you give too much weight and evaluation to pass pawns, it gives away material too early to create the pass pawns. So it'd be interesting to see what happens here. And Tom Simple Chess Program, TSCP, has really high evaluation scores for pushing pawns and often wins games purely by getting its pawns through to promotion before the poor opponent has realised that's going to happen as he was busy eating material elsewhere. But to be honest, this position looks uh, almost completely won now for black because the a5 pawn is about to fall and once the a5 pawn goes, the position really is over because He's then a clear piece up, plus a pawn, and in fact it'd be interesting to see if he ever sees deep enough to start pushing the a6 pawn down the board to actually win. Another good thing to notice is Nero and Vice seem to have almost identical time management, so they both seem to say divide the remaining time by 30 to say how much time we want to invest for the current move, and now you can see quite clearly that the position is completely won for Vice. I'm sorry if this video's a little bit boring but I wanted to just talk through and watch the engine playing its first game and I'm actually rather pleasantly surprised that it's winning it and now it's really completely winning because the threat obviously here is mate on g2 so the queen's going to come in here yes in fact it's now very difficult for uh, in fact Vice has seen a checkmate now and mate in four and Arena has adjudicated the game so that's it then. Arena adjudication, mate seen by both programs, and Vice has actually won its first game against Nero. So, milestone point reached. We have a working chess engine with the UCI protocol, and if you want to develop your own engine completely separately, feel free to take the code. It'd be nice to put an acknowledgement in your readme file or details, but there's a very good basis for going further with some chess programming. I'll continue, however, with this series and add and build Vice up a little bit so it becomes a little bit stronger and certainly I would have thought to the stage where it beats TSCP on a regular basis. So thanks very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the series so far. Comments, questions, criticisms, welcome as always on YouTube.